How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I just wanted to talk a little about WireGuard and OpenVPN. You know, the differences, um, which one could be faster. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know at this point that WireGuard is undeniably faster than any other. It's faster than IKV2. It's faster than OpenVPN. It's the fastest protocol, which is why most VPNs are implementing uh, either WireGuard or their own version of the WireGuard protocol or something that's based on the WireGuard protocol, pretty much something that is simpler than OpenVPN. And I'll get into it. And I'm referring to something that is called lightweight UDP right here with ExpressVPN. So we'll get to it in just a second. Before, if you guys are interested in any of the VPNs mentioned today, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below if you'd like to save a little bit more cash. And of course, you'll also find uh, full reviews, the top three VPNs. These are the top three VPNs for privacy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. You'll find the top three VPNs video in the description down below if you'd like to learn all about those. Now, a VPN protocol defines the rules of communication between your local network and the remote network. This includes the type of encryption that will be used and how authentication, how user authentication operates. OpenVPN has dominated the protocol of choice in the VPN market for the last 20 years. But WireGuard is proving itself to be a worthy adversary. Now, with every rival technology that challenges an existing product, there are usually pros and cons to be found with each of these. And these are the main differences. Um, by the way, ExpressVPN's lightweight UDP protocol is not a WireGuard protocol, but it is based on the WireGuard protocol and is definitely faster than OpenVPN. Um, if you're looking for a true WireGuard protocol, you will find it with uh, NordVPN making it's NordLynx. It's called NordLynx making NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the industry. Now, all these VPNs do have open VPN protocols. And if we go to Surfshark right here, just like ExpressVPN, we do have the WireGuard protocol as well as the two variations of open VPN, TCP and UDP. If you didn't know, uh, TCP will be more secure, but slower. Open VPN will just be a little bit faster. Um, quite a bit faster actually, but takes less time to encrypt the traffic. Uh, and then you have IKEV2. All right. Now let me just go through the five differences, the five main differences between uh, OpenVPN and WireGuard. Now, unlike OpenVPN, WireGuard is a versioned protocol. This means that upgrades are released periodically with a single encryption that relates to each specific version. OpenVPN can only change its existing cryptographic algorithms when it is requested by the administrator. Okay, second, we have the speed. Because it takes longer for OpenVPN to negotiate handshake and encryption standards every time it makes a connection to the server, this massively impacts connection speeds. When you use WireGuard, the server instantly recognizes the encryption and conjoining standards the tunnel is using. The third main difference is that WireGuard runs just using 4,000 lines of code. In comparison, OpenVPN uses 70,000 lines of code. There's less likelihood of bugs impacting WireGuard's performance and in the event that it does get a bug, it is way easier to find and resolve with 94% less code to trawl through than OpenVPN. Security threats are lessened as there is a smaller target. The longer the code, the more vulnerable it is. It is also far easier to maintain and audit. And of course, the faster download speeds, you know, the great reputation of WireGuard protocols comes mainly from its speeds when packets of data are being delivered through the tunnel. This rapidity is seen because it operates in the kernel space, which boosts speed to CPU ratio. In comparison to OpenVPN or IPsec, you get more speed per level of CPU usage with WireGuard. And during benchmark tests, and you can look up all kinds of tests uh, throughout the internet, you'll notice that WireGuard always outperforms OpenVPN in both download speed, upload speed, and ping. 
And the final difference is encryption. Now, OpenVPN uses certificates uh, for identification and encryption, while WireGuard incorporates public key encryption. Certificates include more data, such as the organization it belongs to and its expiration date. Keys just have the data needed to decode the encryption. Overall, WireGuard's encryption is far simpler and much less susceptible to downgrade attacks. Although OpenVPN has long since been considered the safer option, WireGuard is proving that it may potentially be even more secure thanks to its shorter coding. So hopefully this video helped you guys figure out what the main differences are between WireGuard and OpenVPN. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to post them in the comments down below. And you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description, as well as the full reviews for all these VPNs. By the way, these are the top three VPNs, again, for privacy, speed, streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And they do have both OpenVPN and WireGuard protocols, except for ExpressVPN. It does have OpenVPN. VPN protocols, but they have their own version of uh, a WireGuard based protocol. It's not a true WireGuard protocol, but it is still quite a bit fast, just not as fast as NordVPNs. But for that kind of info in terms of speed testing and all that, check the reviews below. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Again, whatever questions you have, I'll be happy to just uh, answer every single one of you guys. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.